This is a longer video where I provide explanations on every step that I take while I'm laying the St. Augustine grass sod. If you are interested, I do have a shorter video where I do not have the explanations in it linked above. We are finally out of the 100 plus degree weather. We've been in the 80s pretty much every day and it should stay that way until our first freeze probably in about three months. So I've got a perfect window right now to go ahead and start replacing some more of my Bermuda grass, tearing it all out and putting St. Augustine sod down. Now there's a couple different ways you can go about taking out your old grass. One thing that a lot of people do is they use some type of a roundup and they kill the grass really well and they leave it out there for a few weeks and then they come back and then they're able to either till up the ground or hoe it up a little bit and just put their grass right down, their sod right down. That's definitely the easiest method. Me personally, I don't like the idea of using something like Roundup. Um, I don't think it's gonna help the sod that comes in very well, and I just really don't wanna be using a product like that. Um, so for me, I actually just use a little bit of work um, and I take my shovel and I just clear out all the grass. It definitely is a lot more work. Now, if you can do this whenever it has rained really good for a couple days and then maybe had a, a day or so to dry out just a little bit to where the ground is softer, it's definitely going to be a lot easier. What I'm going to be doing here is mostly shaded by the tree above me or next to me. And what that actually does is it allows that all of this grass here is more sparse. It's not as dense. It doesn't have the really good root growth. And because it doesn't get constant sun all day, the ground is actually a lot softer. So it's a lot easier to use my shovel and just tear it all up. The whole front yard has been a lot easier doing that. The side yards where it gets um, pretty much direct sun all day, that ground is very compacted and hard. And so that I really need to either water it really heavily the night before or the day before, or wait until it rains really well. But this front yard would be a lot easier. One thing I will note here when doing this is that I'm going at it pretty roughly. You don't really need to be precise. I'm just trying to get as much of the grass up as I can, or really all of the grass. And then what I'll actually do is I'll come back with my little hand shovel, and I will rough up the soil really well. And in addition, while I'm doing that, um, I will even it out so that when I put my sod down, it all goes down even. So now what I'm gonna do is, I don't wanna waste all this good dirt here that's on the Bermuda grass. So I just gently tear all the dirt out. And then I take the grass, put it on the sidewalk, and I will go throw all that grass away. But I wanna save all the dirt and get rid of the grass. We got the first 18 square foot section done. We have it all evened out. There is a little bit of grass here and there, but you're not gonna get it perfect. It's nice and even now. I'm gonna go ahead and continue working on all of this. I'm not gonna film all of that because that will take a while, but I will come back after I got a decent more of this done and we're ready for the next step. I now have about 48 square feet completed. All still the same day, thankfully. All the way down here, nice line. She saw me do this portion. And now all of this, all the way up to the tree and all the way around up to the other point where I had St. Augustine grass there, all the way back. Might not look like much, but this is a lot of work, a few hours of work. Now, I've already thrown a lot of the grass away. You could uh, compost it, but I'm just throwing it away for now. And then I am actually ready to go ahead and go by the sod, but I'm keeping some of the dirt here because 
although I have it as even as I believe I can at this point, when you go to put the sod down, that's the time you'll truly see if it's even. I might need to add some of the dirt underneath just to make sure it's perfectly even, really when going down a slight slope, which you can't tell, but there is a slight slope. I've got my sod, uh, 16 pieces, the most I could fit in the trunk of my car um, behind you. And so now that I've got that, it is now time to get this uh, to the ground nice and soaked in water so that it is nice and ready to put the sod down. You want it to be nice and wet so that it's easy for the roots and there you have nice a good soil for the roots of the sod of the grass to go in and start working into the ground. Okay, now it is nice and watered and now a very important step that you might not have thought of, we're actually gonna put down some nice cow manure um, on the uh, ground now and then water that in, which will be a really nice fertilizer for those roots to go down into and to help the grass really start well and get nice and green and thick. Really a good fertilizer base for the grass to start growing. It's gonna make a big difference. Okay, so I just use the same compost uh, cow manure that I use for my garden. It is about $1.70 at Home Depot or Lowe's and it is 40 pounds worth of cow manure. It is, in my opinion, the best thing you can buy. All that work and sadly I just left to go get my last nine or ten pieces of sod and they're closed I got there 509 and they closed at 5 I did not realize they closed so early but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add dirt in between these uh, crevices here um, where it did not perfectly line up with all the sod there's more over here you probably can't see it too well from that angle but then I'm going to add a little more dirt along the edges to make sure none of the uh, dirt edges here of the grass of the sod are um, exposed to the sun. And then I'll give everything a nice water. And then when I come back tomorrow, I'll just have to put the last two pieces of sod down and water it all really good. Okay, good. So one quick note, once you lay sod, um, you wanna make sure you water it in really well um, to make sure that you loosen up the um, hard dirt or whatever you wanna call it, soil underneath where the roots are bound together with. Um, you wanna make sure you loosen that up to try to promote those roots to go down into your native soil. What you do is um, you come out whenever you would water in the morning or at nighttime and you're just gonna stick your finger in here and you can feel where the actual dirt is underneath the grass. And if it's still soft, you don't need to water yet. But if you feel it and it's really hard, then you definitely need to water again. Uh, for mine, it's usually every, every day, but it really depends on your amount of direct sunlight it's getting in your climate. But just make sure it never dries out for the first two weeks to ensure that it takes. All right, so I have to work tomorrow, so I will see y'all back tomorrow afternoon. Uh, definitely before five this time. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm back for day two, and today I wore a regular shirt because I've got a nasty sunburn on my back. No good, but back for day two, I already watered 
the ground here really well so it's ready for my sod. I already picked up my sod and I went ahead and watered this portion here, the sod from yesterday already as well. So you won't be seeing me water that portion at the end. So let's get our sod and get this finished. So this last piece, one extra piece, um, we're gonna put in the backyard instead. Because uh, it doesn't really fit here and it's gonna look a little awkward having one extra. Obviously it's not perfect all the way across anyways, but it's good enough. Um, I just don't wanna dig it another spot right now. So I've got a larger bare spot in the backyard. Um, be next to the banana trees or somewhere that I'm gonna put this one instead, um, instead of putting it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the additional dirt all in here that's needed and water and be done and we can look to see what it looks like for the final product all right so here is the finished product about 48 square feet total of additional sod put down all saint augustine sod matched up really nicely with my sod that I put down previously. All nice and level. Got more progress on the front yard. And I'll be finishing this out hopefully in the next few weeks and then working on the side over there in the spring of next year. Definitely looks great. And I hope this video helped you all a lot. I hope they uh, answered some questions for you. It shows you this isn't too difficult. It takes a lot of time. And like always, if you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. And I do have some previous videos on tips on how to grow St. Augustine grass. Um, and I also have a lot of uh, gardening videos if you're interested in that. But please uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.